Breaking news involving the former president and that search at Mar-a-Lago. After the release of the search warrant, tonight the Department of Justice is now fighting the release of the affidavit, arguing it would compromise the criminal investigation. The DOJ revealing a grand jury is involved in this ongoing investigation that implicates national security. The DOJ also making it clear it needs to keep the affidavit private to protect the identities of witnesses who are involved. Tonight, we're also learning more about the investigation into what they found, those 11 sets of classified documents, some with the highest possible level of classification, meaning only a select few are ever supposed to handle these documents and only in very secure locations. Tonight, federal investigators want to know of these documents, how did they get there? Were they ever at any other locations and who had access to them along the way? And federal investigators now looking at surveillance from inside Mar-a-Lago. Tonight, former President Trump claiming the FBI also took three of his passports. Tonight, the former president's explanation so far for these documents amid a growing threat to the FBI and law enforcement. Tonight, the arrest and the alleged threat made that anyone working with the FBI deserves to die. That was the quote. ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas leading us off tonight. Tonight, the Justice Department revealing it has witnesses cooperating in the investigation into the mishandling of highly classified documents seized at Mar-a-Lago and indicating a grand jury is involved. In a court filing, prosecutors arguing that their affidavit, their roadmap to the case, must remain sealed to protect those witnesses, calling it an ongoing investigation that implicates national security. They certainly don't want to put former President Trump or anyone close to him on notice of what they are looking at. It comes as the former president today claimed in a social media post that the FBI took his passports during that search. As for those seized classified and secret documents, investigators must now try to retrace their movements since they were allegedly taken from the White House to determine whether the country's national secrets have been compromised. Investigators could check the documents for fingerprints and would likely interview Trump officials. If there was this big pool of classified information sitting at uh, President Trump's residence, trying to figure out who knew what, when, or had access to what, when, from a chain of custody perspective, will be really important for the investigators. Sources say investigators are now scrubbing through security footage they subpoenaed from Mar-a-Lago, at least one camera capturing the hallway outside of Trump's storage facility. And according to sources, a Trump attorney signed a statement in June after that visit from the FBI saying all classified documents at Mar-a-Lago had been turned over. But that was not true. The FBI would seize 11 sets of classified documents during its search, some of it marked top secret and others SCI, meaning it came from the most sensitive intelligence sources, often involving secrets from allies, electronic eavesdropping, informants and other spying. The most sensitive SCI material includes nuclear secrets and information about terrorism operations. Material so sensitive that it has to be kept under lock anytime it's moved. The fact that it is now outside or has been outside of, of those really controlled environments, again, it is pretty um, disturbing and shocking to see. As a candidate, Donald Trump vowed to safeguard classified material. In my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. No one will be above the law. But Trump now caught up in an investigation involving possible violations of espionage, mishandling of documents, and obstruction of justice. Since the raid, Trump's explanations have shifted. His team now says he had a standing order to declassify documents the moment they were removed from the Oval Office and taken to the residence. I think that claim is uh, almost certainly a lie. Trump's former national security advisor, John Bolton, says he'd never heard of such a policy. It would have to be documented what they were, each document, so that people would know what had been declassified. And I know of no logistical train, no paper train at all, that, that says what's declassified and what's not. When somebody's making up stories like that, I think it indicates a level of desperation. Tonight, the Republican and Democratic leaders of the Senate Intelligence Committee are asking to get secure access to the seized documents, along with an assessment of potential risks to national security as a result of their mishandling. These kinds of documents are precisely what U.S. adversaries try to steal, and security gaps at Mar-a-Lago have long been a concern. In 2019, a Chinese national was arrested and convicted of lying to Secret Service agents after entering a restricted area. 
Authorities later finding nine thumb drives and a device to detect hidden cameras in her hotel room. And so let's get right to Pierre Thomas with us live tonight. Pierre, you have reported here that the Justice Department wants to keep that affidavit sealed. And we have reported all along here that the affidavit would reveal a lot more than the search warrant uh, already revealed last week. I know the Department of Justice argues it would compromise uh, the criminal investigation here. Remind our audience the kinds of things that would be in an affidavit that we did not see in the search warrant. David, that affidavit is a roadmap. There may be more details about possible crimes, including obstruction of justice and espionage. And there may be details about the witnesses and where the investigation is going that they want to keep secret. David? Pierre Thomas with us off the top tonight. Pierre, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.